Hello friends, welcome to Cook to Nourish. Uh, I'm sorry it's been a while since I did a video, uh, but you know, summer, I was just busy with a lot of different things. Anyways, uh, today I am uh, going to have um, share with you my meals, what my meals look like currently. You know, I have done a video, I believe a couple of years ago where I shared my AIP meals so that you get an idea of, you know, how to eat while on AIP. And now, you know, I want to kind of share with you what my AIP plus reintroductions, you know, look, looks like. And it could be different for you guys, depending upon, you know, what reintroductions you are successful with. But at least I just wanted to share with you what mine looks like currently. And then that way, I think, hopefully it will be some encouragement or motivation for people who are still in AIP elimination mode. They can, you know, hope to one day look forward to eating some of those things, you know, because that matters. So again, I always say that AIP elimination is not meant to be forever. So as soon as you begin to feel better, you know, on AIP, um, we encourage, you know, um, we encourage reintroductions of the non-AIP foods, but the healthy foods, not your, you know, um, inflammatory foods like processed foods or gluten or things like that. But there are some foods that are, you know, encouraged to um, uh, to be reintroduced. And uh, ideally, um, I would recommend that you work with a nutritional therapy practitioner or a functional medicine doctor to kind of help you to reintroduce, uh, reintroduce those foods uh, one by one. All right, so today what I've done is I've, you know, taken pictures of over the last two, three weeks of what I eat, what my meals look like. I've also, I think, taken some videos, so I'm just going to join everything together and share that with you. Hope you like this video, and um, as often, I mean, as always, uh, your comments are really, really appreciated, and uh, bring those questions on. All right? So first, with breakfast, let's see what I like to eat for breakfast mainly. So uh, some kind of sausage, usually chicken sausage, and the brand that is uh, really good and compliant is Belinsky brand, that's what I like. So I will saute some chicken sausage, sometimes bacon or just with bacon fat and with lots of vegetables, broccoli, mushrooms, zucchini, kale, etc. And then also sometimes add avocado. And lately I have been really loving the seasoning. This is furikake seasoning. It's like a Japanese seasoning blend, mainly has uh, sesame seeds. Next, uh, another, you know, breakfast item that I like to eat for breakfast is like cashew nut yogurt now. Sometimes I also get coconut yogurt with blueberries or other berries. And then I also add like collagen peptides to it to kind of increase, um, you know, add some additional protein and then also nuts as well as some um, seeds like chia seeds and that way I you know try to pack in a little bit of good fat and protein in there and you know the berries are also obviously uh, you know rich in antioxidants by the way I don't eat breakfast every single day some days like one or two days in a week I will skip breakfast and just have like a large um, you know coconut oil based um, decaf latte and and sometimes i like to eat this uh, lovebird cereal you know to all that i added i don't always but some days just you know when i feel extra indulgent i'll do that and as i said like you know the coffee latte i have shared the recipe of that before you know with coconut milk and coconut oil etc nowadays uh, reintroduction wise i have reintroduced you know, cashew nuts in my life, and I love that. And cashew milk, this particular cashew milk, Elmhurst brand is absolutely delicious. So just adding, it's rich and creamy. So adding a little bit of that to my um, decaf coffee is really great. Then chia seed pudding with fruits or berries is another favorite. Now for lunch options, you know, what are the usual favorite lunch options? I will just grill some shrimp or, you know, pan fry some vegetables and fish and, you know, with cauliflower rice or just saute. You know, anything that comes together in 30 minutes, I'll do that because I usually take like a one hour break for lunch and then I, you know, will usually cook and eat at that time. Now, another favorite for lunch is like now I've started eating some um, you know, deli meats. Now, this is, but the brand, you have to be very careful. So I have realized um, 
by experimenting that i i'm okay with this apple gate brand because it does not have like any you know added chemicals or sugars in it it just has some added salt so the turkey or the chicken slice um you know boar's head is another brand that is good so occasionally not all all the time you know occasionally when i am out of like chicken um, shredded chicken that i have cooked myself i will have like a backup this um chicken slice and that way i can do a chicken taco and those are by the way homemade cassava flour rotis which you know you guys have seen how i make those and sometimes off late i have you know this happened when i was um sick with uh, covid and i could not do anything much cooking so then i ordered these cassava ro- uh, tortillas of cta brand and these are okay i mean they are not as great as homemade like you know but they are okay when you are in a bind uh now again with the homemade uh, tortillas i also do like other you know fish tacos etc in here i have like the fish nuggets the recipe for which you'll find on my site another thing is like favorite is grain free pizza curry chicken salad is another one which you know recipe you will find on my website now that uses you know cashew nut in the dressing quinoa salad is another one that i have reintroduced with quinoa and i love that now to dinner options these are more geared towards like you know what my family can eat as well and where i can minimize the work effort so i will like bake salmon or bake fish and then my family will eat it with like rice um and or you know like other tortilla or like tacos whereas i will have like cauliflower rice now here i also wanted to share quickly like a really best way to cook cauliflower rice you know now frozen cauliflower rice you add to a hot stainless steel pan and then cook for about 5 to 7 minutes additionally you can add like some flavorings like um turmeric and cilantro and lemon juice and it can be like really flavorful in my book you will find a recipe for cod lemon rice which uses the same flavors and you know added adds fish along to the cauliflower rice now pokey bowls are another favorite in my family uh, like everybody loves it so i make that for dinner a lot basically i have big salmon here and then i make a turmeric uh, i'm sorry um a teriyaki sauce to go with it fish curry chowder is another uh, favorite where basically it's a soup you can find the recipe of this on my website but basically a fish soup with lots of vegetables and then shahi chicken korma is a typical indian uh, curry dish now i made make this without tomatoes chicken curry also i make without tomatoes and there are lots of chicken curry recipes on my website they have spices and i have introduced uh, successfully all spices except for chili pepper which i use in limited quantity so that's what my curries have Now here's a typical Indian meal, you know, where I try to kind of balance the carbs um, and the proteins and the fats. Chicken um, kebabs or chicken burgers are again a great batch cooking option for me. And so whenever I make these, I make like a big batch, so that way I can use it for my salads as well as my kids can eat them um, as burgers. You know, so these are really a really great time-saving option. Now here's a typical Indian meal and see how I've tried to balance here that's a shrimp curry and um you know the only thing that is different from an Indian meal here is that I don't eat a um, large quantity of rice so I have like a small quantity of rice here but um chicken noodle soup you know the recipe for which I have shared before that's a favorite and then again you know these are like examples of my plates where i have cauliflower rice with the different indian curries and protein now chickpea a uh, flower is something that i have reintroduced and uh, chickpea pakoras are something that i have been able to enjoy as i have successfully reintroduced chickpea flower uh the other thing i want to share is like an example of a plate when i was in india of a meal see here you know i have all the elements the curries and the vegetable side dishes and instead of rice i have tapioca mashed tapioca another thing i wanted to share was that um i use cassava pasta by jovial 
uh, foods and uh, here I have chicken alfredo which has like cashew nuts in the sauce and so that's the reintroduction that uh, I love. Another intro reintroduction is rice and this chicken biryani dish which has uh, you know rice and chicken and some potatoes also is my favorite favorite dish and I reserve it for special locations um, because I am okay with it in small amounts. Next, treats. Now, treats are things that I don't really eat a lot of, but I like to make some, like this mango ice cream and some other dessert. You know, I have lots of desserts on my blog, and I make some of these. Uh, for example, blueberry bars are another one that I do. You can, you know, use any other fruit for that. And like having a couple of uh, desserts in the in the freezer i feel is a good thing so then that way whenever i have temptation you know at least i have something on hand so here have been you know all the reintroductions so far i have um, successfully reintroduced the following like seed based spices uh, grass fed butter and ghee then um, you know some nightshade spices basically just you know like kashmiri chili pepper in small amounts and uh, then you know all the seeds like um, sesame seeds and um, um, you know chia seeds as well as nuts you know some nuts not all and and then as i said rice um, on an occasional basis chickpea flour also on an occasional basis and um, also quinoa you know so these are like now that i have added all these foods i really don't feel deprived and i enjoy um, you know eating the way I do because that keeps me flare free hope you found this video useful I will try and post the links of most of the recipes that I mentioned here um, in the description box thank you for watching